Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make really easy and flavorful guacamole that you can make in like five minutes or less. It's really easy. And I'm also going to show you a couple good ways to keep your avocados fresh. Whether you're making guacamole or you have an avocado left over, they get brown and they oxidize really quickly. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to extend their life, just to keep them green and fresh looking longer. So I'm going to start off with cutting my avocados. So you want to make sure that they're nice and ripe and soft. I usually buy them two or three days before I'm going to use them. And so all you have to do is just cut all the way around the avocado. Let me show you. Just start off on one side. And you want to use a sharp knife and just go all the way around the avocado. And then we're just going to twist it. Comes right off. Beautiful. Now to take care of the pit and be careful because you've got a really sharp knife, you're just going to jam your knife into it, take it out, and be really careful when you take it out. So I'm just going to use a towel. There's one. Now we're going to do the other one. Okay, that's all done. So now what I'm going to do is just cut my avocado vertically. And for this recipe, I'm going to use one and a half avocados just because I want to show you for the last avocado how to save it and keep it fresh. And now they have those things at the store that does this for you, but it's like $20. So just do it yourself and save $20. Okay, so I've got a big bowl. I'm just going to scoop out my avocado. Okay, all done. And when I cut the avocado, this part popped off of it. That's a sign that your avocado is really ripe. So that is a very good sign. So I've got my avocado. Now I'm going to grab my lime. Okay, so I've got my lime. And what I did to make sure that you get the most juice out of it is I put it in the microwave for 15 seconds and it warms it up and it makes the juices come out. And then another thing that you do before you use it, just roll it on whatever surface and it makes it a lot juicier. So now I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm only going to use half a lime for this recipe. I'm going to use the other half to make sure that it stays fresh. So I'm just going to squeeze a couple teaspoons or a tablespoon. Okay, so I've got my cilantro nice and fresh. I'm just going to pull off some stems. We're going to use two or three tablespoons. So I'm just going to pick off my cilantro and chop it up. Okay, so cilantro is done. Just sprinkle that in there. Just give a nice healthy sprinkle. Okay, now I'm just going to add a little bit of kosher salt. Fourth of a teaspoon. And now, because I like my avocado, I like it to have some good texture. So I just have my fork and I'm just going to mash it up with my fork. Now this is not the super smooth texture of what you're going to get in the store, but that's okay because guacamole, it's really nice to have that texture. But if you do want a smoother texture, just mash it up some more. Okay, so my guacamole is all ready to go. All done. Now I like my guacamole really simple. Not a lot of bells or whistles, just the basic flavorful delicious stuff. But if you want to add some chopped Roma tomatoes or some diced red onion, please be my guest. So good. Mm. The texture is really nice. You really taste that avocado as you should. You get some acidity from that lime juice. It's nicely seasoned. Got the kick little hint of the cilantro. It's really good. It's so easy. Did you see how fast I made that? Mm. Okay guys, so I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm going to show you a couple good tips on how to keep your guacamole or avocado dish green. So, got my beautiful guacamole. I just put it in a nice Tupperware container. Now I'm just going to sprinkle it with some lime juice. Now you can do lemon or lime juice. Just make sure that it gets in there. So that's one of the things that's going to keep our guacamole fresh and green. 
because I don't know about you guys, but I do not like brown guacamole. It doesn't work for me. So now, another thing to reinforce this is we're gonna put some plastic wrap over our guacamole and just make sure that it touches every part of it. Because what the guacamole is doing, as it sits and as time goes by, it oxidizes, which means there's oxygen that's interacting with this avocado and it's making it turn brown. So, you don't like that. So, the saran wrap over the top is gonna help prevent that. It's gonna keep it fresh. Now, if you're not making guacamole, but you do want to keep your avocado fresh, a good thing to do is to keep the pit in there because the pit helps. So don't throw away that pit if you want to save part of it. And we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit. And I'm also going to put saran wrap around this. So we're just going to wrap it. So just wrap it up nice and tight with the saran wrap. And it's going to stay good for an extra day or two and it's not going to oxidize. It's going to be wonderful. So if you want to put it on a sandwich or put it on top of anything, it's going to stay fresh or longer. So you don't have to worry about that. So make sure if you want your guacamole to stay fresh and not brown, got to use these tips.